welcome to another episode of News Connect. On this episode, we're talking with the general public about the Special Prosecutor's Office and if the office has been justified and if Special Prosecutor Martin Emidu has been able to deliver on his mandate one year on. My name is Melissa Rawad. This is News Connect for City TV. Stay tuned. So one year on, do you think that the special prosecutor's office has been justified? Do you believe, have you seen that he has delivered on his mandate just one year on being um, in his position? Well, for one year now, I cannot see anything much being done. Um, I think uh, just getting to the tail end of 2018, I had some complaints in the media. Um, which were purported to have come from him, that he was not well resourced, his office was not well resourced. So for that matter, he could not um, prosecute, he could not undertake his mandate. So for now, I don't know what happens behind the scenes, but at the moment, we normally take from you the media, like whatever we hear from you, we give that some impetus. We understand that from you, that... This is what the person is doing. But as it stands now, I can't, I've not monitoring the news for some time now. I've not heard anything. I don't think he has delivered. But there are, there are a lot of things that should be done first to help him deliver. And I think most of the things that will help him deliver his mandate has not been done properly. I think they are now even setting up his office complex and then all those things. So one year on, if he's been paid one year on, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of state's resources, actually. But I think there's things the out here have to be passed. We have so many things that have to be done before he can work properly. So one year on, he has not done a lot. But I think let's give him time. Let's give him one year addition and see. If by the close of the year, there's no prosecution, there's nothing. Because passive corruption is there, and there's corruption. So if he has not done anything properly, then we can just sit down and analyze the whole special prosecutor's office, not him as a person. Oh, I think so. He's uh, doing well. Uh, he's doing well about what uh, the position he has assumed. Uh -huh. So if they give him more time, I think he can perform better. Can we Ghanaians uh, sometimes we think if someone assumes a position, we want everything to be quick, uh, which is uh, not so. So I think uh, we have to give him time. So a special prosecutor, when he, he heard any uh, stories about something or when he heard anything about something, he has to investigate it well into details before he come out maybe his measures. Uh -huh. So we have to give him time to uh, investigate things before he maybe he do things in effectively or ineffective. So far, I've not heard of any prosecution. I think uh, we didn't uh, manage the expectation we have with respect to the establishment of his office. And his, uh, since he is coming to do a special duty, it involves. Um, getting technical people, auditors, uh, lawyers, accountants, so that they will do proper investigation before the prosecution will start. And I think he hasn't been resourced well. Uh, but it's just recently I heard that uh, they've disbursed, they've uh, given some amount to his office so that he can start work. So one year on, I think uh, we didn't manage the expectation because we, we thought that people thought that. Uh, when the office is established, when he's appointed, he will start work immediately. And I think he, is do, he has to do underground work. Well, you can't just put um, anybody uh, in court without getting concrete evidence. We've seen on several occasions in this country where the corruption allegations have been leveled against the doers, and at the end of the day, they get to the courtroom and 
um, the case we put on hold or we thrown out of course because of lack of evidence. And I think that um, he is taking cue with respect to such cases so that um, when he sends cases to court, he will get a needed result. So um, I think that, in my own opinion, I think that he's doing background works. Uh, so maybe we should just give him some time so that uh, in one year or two, in the year, years ahead, we will hear positive results from his office. Ghanaians, uh, we get excited about so many things so easily. And there, there's a bit, we have a problem of education and then information descending. We don't really descend information about things well. What do you mean, sorry, so I, so, so I can understand, do you mean we don't, we don't digest it properly, we don't take the time? First of all, the, how we even send information out is wrong. We, see, Ghanians, we, we just jump on things. Okay, there's a special prosecutor's office. All we think is tomorrow is just going to arrest Wyoming. Mm. <laughs> and the Wyoming is not arrested after one year. Oh, then the guy has failed. Mm. So if proper education was done, that, okay, this is the system. It's an office on its own. He's not the only one working. There's supposed to be A, B, C, D done before he can start working. Then we could have managed on expectations well. But if we don't pass our information well, then you expect the public to just jump on everything and be excited about everything. You get it. So Ghanaians are not wrong in their expectations, just that the information was not really properly passed down to us. And then, are you, are you hopeful? But are you still hopeful? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. hopeful. I, I have hope in so many things in this country. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that things will change. If not now, but things will change. And then, um, lastly, as far as the support of Ghanaians, because he has his office, but at the end of the day, you know, um, it's, it's, we're all in this together. This is our country at the end of the day. Do you think that Ghanaians need to be more supportive you know meaning that the office can run effectively if it also had the support of Ghanaians cooperation what do you think about yes, that even, even the police need support of us to get arrested if I'm wrong you see the whole system about the judicial system of this country it doesn't just run on one person it takes a collaborative effort for every single person in this country if I'm supposed to give information about say my ministry and I'm hiding it how do we get the person perceived to be corrupt prosecuted no it won't happen so it takes the effort of everybody from the top to the down everybody who have little or big information about something if we all cooperate we can get it done nobody can do anything on an island it takes a lot of effort to push things out we thought that okay a whole lot of things will be fast track and we'll see action but as it stands now well I, we don't know what happens as i said behind the scenes we just hope that maybe they are working and we we'll begin to hear uh, fruitful results in the years to come. Well, no one also takes joy in seeing people, people being jailed and prosecuted for nothing. But then, just for the spirit for which the office was established, well, we want to see some action. That's it for another episode of News Connect. My name is Melissa Awad for City TV. Thank you for watching.